All right, guys, so earlier this year, there was an asteroid that was discovered that could potentially hit Earth in 2046. I'm going to give my full take, my breakdown on asteroids, and I don't want to clickbait anyone. I will say, if you're taking a scale 1 out of 10, this asteroid is probably below a zero. Because it is interesting how we can detect asteroids that could potentially hit Earth in 2046 right now. And then you think about the technology that we'll have by 2046 and all of the defense systems that will be put into place. A newly discovered asteroid roughly the size of an Olympic swimming pool has a small chance of colliding with Earth in 23 years with a potential impact on Valentine's Day in 2046. First of all, let's be honest, we're probably all going to be dead by 2046. It's not going to be an issue for us. It will mainly be a problem for our children. It is fascinating that we have the technology to be able to detect an asteroid that is the size of an Olympic swimming pool. I would have figured this thing would have had to at least be the size of a football stadium or something for us to even track it. But the asteroid has a 1 in 625 chance of striking Earth. Percentage-wise, that's basically 0.00034. I'm kidding, I just made that. It's something really, really small. Way less than 1% chance. Though NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory has calculated the odds closer to 1 in 560. And the reason... Whenever we detect an asteroid, normally right when we detect it, that is always the scaredest we're going to be. Because you have to think about it, an asteroid can go in every different direction. If we're talking about a potential impact in 23 years, even if the thing was a hundred times the size of Earth traveling directly... Okay, maybe that actually might be a problem if it's a hundred times the size of Earth, but... Like, let's say the thing's as big as a football stadium traveling directly smack dab into the middle of the United States. It would still be way less than a 1% chance because you're talking about we're detecting it with our technology over 20 years. So much can change in 20 years. It can get knocked off course. It can be cut in half. It can hit other space debris, uh, but this is named 2023 DW, the only object on NASA's risk list that ranks 1 out of 10 on their impact hazard scale, a metric for categorizing the projected risk of an impact colliding with Earth. All other objects rank at zero. So that is pretty remarkable. They have a scale that's called a hazard impact scale. And right now there is only one object that even ranks one out of 10. And it is 2023 DW, which is the nickname of this asteroid that has a significant less than 1% chance of striking Earth sometime on Valentine's Day in 2026. And it is interesting. You can see it has its own Wikipedia page dedicated to it. This is its possible risk corridor, which is what they call it. And you can see this thing could potentially nail Indonesia, maybe Hawaii, but it is the size of an Olympic swimming pool. But also you have to understand it's traveling a million miles per hour. And then there also is a risk over Mexico and it looks like possibly going into Texas there across the bottom portion of the United States as well, maybe slightly into Mexico, the upper northern part of it at least, right along the border. Maybe it'll nail Trump's wall. I don't know. It looks like it's headed in that direction. And if you're not familiar with asteroids, normally one of these a year comes up. You can see huge potential planet killer asteroid discovered and it's headed our way with a diameter of 1 to 2 kilometers, space rock named 2022 AP7 crosses our orbit but has no chance of hitting Earth. And then this is probably the biggest asteroid that's come close to possibly hitting Earth. It's called 99924 Apophis. It is a near-Earth asteroid and potentially hazardous asteroid with a diameter of 370 meters or 1,200 feet. 
that caused a brief period of concern in December of 2004 when initial observations indicated a probability of a 2.7% chance that it would hit Earth on April 13th of 2029. And that's actually freaky because normally, like I was saying, all of these are like 0%, 0.0001% chance. This thing had a 2.7% chance and it's massive in comparison to the 2023 DW one that they just discovered. Additional observations provided improved predictions that eliminated the possibility of an impact on Earth in 2029. Until 2006, there was still a small probability, nevertheless, that remained. During its 2029 close encounter with Earth, the asteroid will pass through a gravitational keyhole of no more than about 800 meters in diameter, which would have set up a future impact exactly seven years later, in April of 2036, this possibility kept it at level one on the impact hazard scale until August of 2006, when the probability that the asteroid would pass through the keyhole was determined to be very small and the rating was lowered to zero. So virtually all the asteroids right now that we're tracking have a rating, a hazard rating of zero. Honestly, that one that was discovered, because the one that I was talking about, it was discovered in March of 2023. Let's be honest, that one probably got dropped to zero as well, because we're able to discover these things so early, and it is humbling to think about, I mean, think about 1700s, 1800s, pretty much prior to this recent technological age that we've had we were completely exposed to any asteroid. And it's interesting to think about the idea, imagine it's the year 1845 and there's an asteroid five times bigger than Earth headed directly at us and it's going to impact and kill us all and nobody even knows because we don't have the technology. Now that never happened and it's got a very small percent chance of happening based on how ridiculously massive space is. I cannot give you an analogy to describe how big space is because there is none. It's bigger than everything, okay? And it's just interesting and humbling the idea that we finally have some type of technology to understand these asteroids and possibly predict the exact day like Valentine's Day 2046, and I'm sure people, you know, will say, oh, that technology is nothing. In 10 years, they're going to come up with something way better than this. But I don't know, man. Personally, I find it remarkable, the idea that they can detect it that far out. But right now, I mean, I, I will say it would be interesting if there actually was a legitimate asteroid threat out there and they could say, all right, this thing is one half or one fourth the size of Earth. It's coming here faster than anything we've seen. It's going to hit in August of 2032, and there's like a 50% chance. How do you even tell the general public that? How do you create the correct... Would you throw... I wonder if they would send a nuke... Think about this. What you do is you spe send a spacecraft, put it in orbit, and then you launch a nuclear bomb right off of the, right off of the spacecraft and blow up the massive asteroid in the middle of space where there's no one. That might be the best defense system for something like that. Well, it wouldn't have to be a nuclear bomb necessarily. It would just be something that would completely destroy the asteroid and, and pose it no threat to any of our planets in our solar system. The other interesting thing is, would we protect our other planets? I guess it doesn't really... Well, I wonder what would happen if a massive asteroid nailed Jupiter... Then again, Jupiter is so much bigger than Earth, it's in, you can't even compare the two. It would probably brush it off like it's nothing, and also it's a gas planet. Imagine a massive asteroid was heading for Mars. Would we protect Mars? I'm guessing we would, because we're probably going to get people on Mars, I think, in 2033. Based on the location of Mars in relation to Earth, the window that we have is around 2033, but I'll have to do research on it. And, and I think the United States is going to get, probably Elon Musk will do it. Someone will do it within the United States. There's no way the U.S. lets another country, and we all know the other country that would do it. It would be China. China is trying to get humans on Mars before the United States. I don't think they're going to do it, but uh, they certainly, I, I'm sure they would love it. I mean, China's already come out and say, said they want, they want to be the number one superpower in the world. Guys, we don't need to be worried about asteroids right now because we can detect them 
over two decades in advance, even if they're the size of an Olympic swimming pool. And even this one that just came out where they were like, listen, it does have a one in 400 chance that it might nail Indonesia on Valentine's Day in 2046. It's so small. And the second that we discover it, the chances already start going down because space is so big and it could go off in a hundred different directions. The idea that it's going to continue its exact trajectory towards Earth with no interruption, it, it's less than 0.001% chance, even way less than that. So I don't think we need to be worried about any asteroids right now, but we'll see. There's probably going to be like one a year where they might put it on like a 1 out of 10. Could you imagine a 10 out of 10 on the hazard scale? It would probably be like something the size of Jupiter coming directly and they're like, yeah, we're going to get destroyed by this thing. How do you send up a nuclear bomb to blow up an asteroid the size of Jupiter? You would need to create something special to do that. You would need to create probably like 30 or 40 different nuclear bombs all exploding at the same time onto the asteroid. Or so, Honestly, I'm not even sure that would do it, but either way, guys, that's just something interesting to think about. That is going to do it for this video. Make sure you're following me on X. Link to that's always in the description.